This is my dirt bike. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My dirt bike is my best friend. It is my life. Without my dirt bike, I am useless. Without me, my dirt bike, well, my dirt bike's still pretty cool. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. So round one of the Amra Motor City Off-Road Championship Series is in the books. The Cinder Mountain Hair Scramble uh, was a very tough race. But before we get to the results of the race, I'd like to talk to you guys about uh, a few things. Some of you know, it's been about a year and a half since I finished chemotherapy and radiation treatment for lymphoma. From that difficult chapter in my life story, a new me has emerged, one determined to make some changes. Chances are, the cancer is gonna catch up with me, again. While I'm in remission, I'm determined to change the way I live. I wanna challenge myself. I wanna challenge my mind and my body. I wanna push myself through paralyzing fear to take on a new and dangerous sport that involves this machine right here. This just started out as a desire to fulfill my childhood dreams of riding a dirt bike. Here I am, 43 years old, taking on learning how to ride a dirt bike. But what started out as an attempt to fulfill that childhood dream has turned into something completely different. This has become a quest. A quest not only to learn how to ride, but to become competitive. Perhaps even win a race. Now I don't know if I have what it takes. I'm too old. Maybe I'm not good enough definitely scared every time. It's too expensive. Despite all those obstacles, here I am, racing in the Amra Moto City Off-Road Championship for Arizona. But after this weekend, it's become certain that I'm not going to be able to shoulder for the financial burden of uh, doing, the, doing every race of the Amra Series on my own. Uh, getting to the races, taking care of the bike, um, entry fees, gas, uh, parts, it, it, it just keeps mounting and the bill just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, that's where you come in. If you'd like to help me out, there's several ways you can do this. First and foremost, uh, watching the videos, you're doing it right now. Thank you so much. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And share the video with others so we can get more people watching them. That always helps. Uh, but the videos don't really pay the bills. Other ways you can help, if you're looking for gear, anything you can get for your bike from Rocky Mountain ATV, go to my website, www.joerockstar.com. Click on the uh, Rocky Mountain ATV link and shop like crazy. Everything you buy, I get a certain percentage of. If you need anything from Amazon, go to my website again, www.joerockstar.com, and uh, click on the Amazon link and go shopping. And if you own a, a KTM or Husqvarna and you're looking for the best mods you can get, uh, Best Dual Sport Bikes also has an affiliate link on my website, and that's going to help a lot. But I'm not anticipating that that's going to be enough. And so for those of you who feel like you'd like to do a little bit more to help out, I've started a Patreon site where you can become a Joe Rockstar sponsor. If I meet my goal, it's going to help me out a lot. Not only is it going to get me to and from the race, it's going to keep the bike race ready. And if we do enough, it'll help me with the video production. For those of you uh, generous enough to take on the sponsorship, if you will, I've set up some rewards. Depending on what level you donate at, you'll get your name in my videos. You'll get to see my videos before anybody else does. For those of you who donate at the highest level, if you can get yourself and your bike here, I'll take you on a tour of my favorite riding spots. Uh, China Pass, Kochi Stronghold, uh, Fort Huachuca, the backyard. If you continue to donate at that highest level for three consecutive races, I'll put your company or your name on my bike right on the fenders where you can see it from the action cam that's on my helmet. In addition, I'm willing to put uh, your business or your company's name uh, logo in my videos as well. For anybody that donates and for even those of you who can't just need, and all you can do is watch the videos, I, I, I thank you so much and I really appreciate you guys for, for coming on here. My sincerest thank you to everybody for watching the videos, sharing them, like, subscribing to them and uh, for helping out those of you who are gonna pledge on Patreon, thank you so much. And without further ado, round one of the AMRA Moto City Off-Road Championship. 
This was a tough week. Preparation for the 2017 AMRA Moto City Off-Road Championship Series was very stressful. The Cinder Mountain Hair Scramble would take place on Sunday the 18th of September in Flagstaff, Arizona. Cinders is an off-road vehicle park that is covered with what feels like a mix between sand and gravel. A strange, surreal landscape created by ancient volcanic activity it is barren in places only to quickly become forests of pine and dust. I've never been there, and I have very little experience riding in sand, so I decided to at least try to practice a little in a sandy wash at a local riding area I call the backyard. It's a short sandy wash and there wasn't much room to practice. I was having trouble keeping the air in my front tire as well, so practice had to be cut short. I ended up having to replace my tires, which took even more time away from practicing. To make matters worse, the bill for this race was adding up fast. With entry fees and gas for the drive, new tires, and more money for food and incidentals, the cost was beginning to take its toll. The ability to finance nine rounds of AMRA races was starting to look unlikely. I had to put the financial stress aside and focus on the race, one race at a time. I decided to try to get to Flagstaff early so I could try and get some riding in on the unfamiliar terrain. Friday evening I packed up my things and prepared to leave early Saturday morning. Over five hours away I had planned to carpool with another racer but bike problems took him out of the mix. So this would be a solo trip. I hit a lot of traffic just north of Phoenix and ended up arriving an hour and a half later than I planned. I quickly got to work setting up camp and then I headed to the area designated for practice. It didn't take me long to figure out that this was going to be a tough race. So this is Cinders, and I swear it's like some other planet. It's like gravel, it's like driveway gravel, and it's deep, and in other places uh, gets a lot deeper. So I'm out here in the area they said we could practice in, uh, trying to get a feel for it, and. Uh, I just, I just, I'm not getting a feel for it. It's really uncomfortable. Um, I went down by this little tree down there a second ago. Nothing major, but it's obvious to me that it's going to be extremely difficult to make uh, any sharp turns or make any quick turns on this stuff. Riding slow makes it actually harder uh, to keep the balance on it. So going in straight, we can get it going fast. That's the best bet. But when those turns come up, it's got to come down to some kind of medium pace. Really, really difficult uh, to turn in here. I returned to camp, got through registration and bike inspection. a few friends from Sierra Vista showed up. You're going to be on the latest uh, Joe Rockstar video. Let's not make it a fail video. I don't do fail videos. <laughs> Alone in Camp Rockstar, there was nothing much to do but cook some dinner and settle in for a cold night. I love Amara events. Everybody's so cool. My neighbor loaned me some salt and pepper. Now let's do that. So my macaroni's got waterlogged um, in the uh, cooler. I put the box in the cooler like an idiot. So I only got half of the uh, half the macaroni. The other half was just a big pile of mush. Mm, delicious. Your perfect dinner. I had a lot to think about that night. If I didn't figure out how to handle this terrain, cinders would swallow me whole. Good night, YouTube. All right, so we're about uh, 15, 20 minutes from uh, race start. I've got everything prepped. I'm hydrated. Uh, I'm peeing like every five seconds, so I think I'm, I'm hydrated, but I'll probably end up dehydrated. 
really nervous. We just finished the rider meeting. It's actually like a scary experience. So you get kind of you get really really nervous the closer it gets time to take off. And once we start rolling, I think I'll be fine. But right now, I got a lot of butterflies. There's some stuff. There are some tough stuff. If you go to the left instead of taking the right line, of course, you need to be able to see the line. And it's pretty dry and dusty out here today. So hopefully. I can see the lines that I need to uh, turn to stay to the right. So that's it. Here we go.